I'd like to welcome Ishraq Muhammad Shafayat from Standard 5 to deliver a lecture on bullying at school. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Honorable head of school, teachers, guardians, and fellow students, I, Ishraq Muhammad Shafid, would like to welcome you all with Islamic greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah, we have been blessed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to study at Avros International School, where we are enjoying Islamic schooling, which certainly is a matter of peace of mind for all of us. We are like a big family here. All the students are very helpful and friendly to each other. Life here is truly peaceful and harmonious due to the strict discipline we maintain. Unfortunately, this rhythm of our peaceful life is sometimes broken when few among us, being inspired by shaitan, try to be dominating over others. For no good reason, they feel themselves superior and look down upon others. They always look for some unfair advantage by abusing other students' simplicity. In other words, we can call this bullying, whether it can be physical, mental, and cyber as well. Bullies pick on someone and might make fun of them who they think do not fit in. Bullies make fun of other things, including appearance, behavior, race, religion, social status, etc. It is found very often the students come to the teachers with such complaint that somebody's not letting them play, or somebody's nasty stiffened, or somebody shouted at them necessarily. Those are devil's practices that are used and applied by the bullies. This can make the victims feel afraid, stressed, depressed, or anxious. The victims may also have thoughts about suicide or hurting themselves. They might also have trouble with their schoolwork, have problems with their mood, energy level, sleep, and appetite. We must not keep quiet and silently be the prey of those hellish activities. No, there are many things we can do if we are being bullied or know someone who is being bullied. We should tell a trusted adult like teacher, parent, or coaches. If you walk away from the bully and ignore them, you're telling them that you don't care. Walk tall and hold your head high. Using this type of body language shows that you're not vulnerable. Try to point out that his or her behavior is very serious and harmful. Practice ways to respond to the bully verbally or through your behavior. Above all, pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to stay and remain safe from all ominous powers. Thank you.